Right, the other thing we want to look at um, is a useful tool that um, few, I had a few questions about was pretty much uh, remote desktop connection for Mac. Uh, knowing there's probably a lot of new Mac users out there that are ex Windows users and still use Windows. So, yeah, uh, here we go. So, remote desktop is pretty much here. So, if you really want to have to, if you want to look at it and download it, uh, you can download it from uh, this website here. Uh, you can probably see that, uh, or you can just probably Google it. But I'll probably add that um, site in just a moment. But anyway, other than that, this is remote desktop. Okay, let's show you what it does. Right. So if I bring it up here, just in my applications, remote desktop connection. Alright, so pretty much all you need to do is put in your IP address. Or you can put in anything like your a domain address or a if you have any type of address like that then yeah sure you can use that but um, other than that it's basically it uh, this is my Vista machine in the other room over a, over a uh, Gigabit network so if I go ah crap alright just hold on a sec Alright, got through that. Alright, so here we are. Um, so pretty much I'm remote desktoping. Office 2008. Alright, first things first. Microsoft Turage. Okay. This is something that never gets discussed much, but um, I think it's a very good program to actually discuss. When it loads up. Okay. This program is pretty much like, well, it's exactly like Microsoft Outlook. It's got, Microsoft, it's got everything that Microsoft Outlook does have including Microsoft Exchange Server Support uh, which is brilliant for anyone that at work and requires uh, an Outlook to actually um, log on to their email through Microsoft Exchange Service. This program will do it because uh, it literally is the Mac version of Microsoft Outlook which is uh, well most of you know what Outlook is, and this pretty much is Outlook in every single way. There is nothing uh, new as such of the, besides the interface. It's pretty much the same old thing in terms of that. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same. There is nothing new about it. So I'm moving on from there. Alright, so next one here is Excel. Uh, Mac 2008. I really didn't find much difference in it. It looks pretty much the same, except there's more convenient buttons now uh, for you to click, which is, uh, I suppose, better than 2004 in some respects. Uh, you also got um, the same thing they have in Windows that I thought was impressive as such. So moving on to PowerPoint 
2008. Okay, besides the fact that they have the tabs in here as well, and the fact that they have all these different designs that you can now put in there, and animation, it really isn't much difference in this PowerPoint. Uh, it's pretty much the same as any other PowerPoint program, except it's on the Mac. Uh, it's very leaning towards 2007 yet again, but other than that, it's very, uh, very good as a uh, PowerPoint presentation layout as concerned. All right, and lastly, Microsoft Word 2008. Okay, this, besides the fact that it's actually got uh, the tabs and it's got um, D, uh, Doc, Doc X support, like in 2007, uh, there really isn't anything new about this. Uh, it's pretty much different sort of layout. There's not really any features uh, that are new, that strike me as new, but considering I only had this for a few days, it doesn't really... Uh, I don't really see any uh, new new features that strike me as brilliant. Uh, but other than that, um, it's pretty much how it is. It's a better word doc. It's definitely a better word processor than Word 2004. You definitely find it much better. But yeah, that's pretty much Office 2008. Uh, it's a pretty short review, but um, there really isn't much to tell about it, but um, other than that, I thought I'd walk you through it. Pretty much went and um, shared the actual uh, drive. There you go, it's a shared drive, network path. It's too easy. Alright, so, now you've done. Now you can do it that way, or you can actually use... Uh, what a lot of people have been asking about, you can actually use the uh, external uh, DVD uh, burner that uh, you have to buy externally. I mean, you have to buy separately. Uh, pretty much, it's hooked up by USB. So as you can see, there it is there, hooked up by USB. So, I'm just going to put in disk to show you how it works. Alright, so it should come up here shortly. Not too long. Go. Bingo. There we go. I didn't set it on auto run, so if it if it was auto run, it would actually show this. Uh, just show you guys what it looks like in auto run. There it is. Yeah, there we go. All right. So yeah, that's um, pretty much the uh, disc. Go back in. Okay, there's a disk there. So, yeah. That's pretty much the external drive. Um, do all your installations on there and everything like that. Okay. So, the drive is pretty much this. Uh, Sony. Model number DRX55 RS50U. Right, that's for the UX. It's a DVD burner. Pretty much all your standard in there for any region. You should be fine. And that's pretty much what you use on the UX, or you can use the network version. Network it. But yeah, that's how it works.